Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'd like to talk to you about retouching menswear. I find it's quite different to retouch menswear than it is to retouch girl stuff. And I don't know, maybe it's because of the standards in the industry or just the general kind of consensus that girls need to be retouched more. Um, but in general, I do work quite differently on men's than I would work on girl stuff. So. I'm going to show you the way I retouched the men's photos and um, I'm going to use a photo from a recent campaign that I shot for Edge Only. Um, we went for quite couples vibe so that's the kind of way I'm going to keep the image. It's going to be quite dark and quite edgy and yeah I hope you enjoy this video. If you do please give it a thumbs up and please subscribe to my channel and uh, let me know what would you like to see next. What are your thoughts on duplicated layer? I'm asking because I've heard from some people that it's a waste, it doubles the file size, and then I heard from some people that it's essential. So I'd like to know, do you guys do it or do you not? So let me know in the comments. So I'm starting with my patch tool. Um, you can also use the stamp tool or um, healing uh, brush. It doesn't really matter. It's up to you, whatever you feel most, com most comfortable with. So as you see, um, we have tiny little spots here and there. Um, it's nothing too major. Um, it's just little tiny things. So I'm just getting rid of them um, without changing the skin texture. So I wouldn't use um, a brush or anything like that to maybe like smooth the texture because I just don't think it would be right. Okay, so that's done. Um, I find myself, when I retouch men's photos, I find that I like to leave loads of texture behind. The more the better. As you see, he has a slight little line under his eye. I'm going to leave that. I think it adds character to his face. Um, so I'm not going to touch that. Okay, so as you see, I have the skin finished. I'm going to leave the line um, under his eye there because I think it adds a bit of character. I'm not going to do much more on his face. Um, what I'm going to do next is I'm going to grab the um, curve and I'm going to work on highlights and shadows. So I'm just going to increase the highlights first. The whole idea behind the campaign was this really moody, contrasty kind of colors um, and light, so um, kind of like the cupels. So that's the kind of look I'm going for. I want it to be kind of dark and um, Okay, so now I'm adding a bit of um, shadow, don't go too far. Next, I'm going to go with my contrast curve. Just a slight little contrast. You don't want to add too much because um, it just won't look right. Um, you just want a tiny little bit of contrast in the image. So I'm just grabbing two points on the curve and I'm just adding a little bit of contrast. Okay, so that looks quite good. What I'm going to do next is I am going to create a dodge and burn layer. So I'm just going to do it underneath. So I'm going to press Alt, new layer, soft light and fill it with soft light neutral color, 50% gray. Perfect. And now I'm going to do little things that I see. So for example, I want to fill in his brows ever so slightly. I don't want to overdo it. I don't want them to be, you know, too brushed up or, you know, looking unnatural. I just want a tiny bit of more definition in them. So I'm just going to grab the black brush. Um, so I'm just going to go back to flow, maybe 2%. And I'm just going to fill in very loosely with the brush. Now, what you see what sometimes happens is the skin underneath the dodge turns quite red. So to balance that out, I'm going to create another layer. I'm going to create, um, just click new layer, and then I'm going to select color. And with that, I am going to select the white brush and just go over the area ever so slightly because what it does it balances the color it adds out the gray so um, it's going to balance the red pretty well as you see um, it's pretty much perfectly balanced now so obviously the retouching standards in the male and female part um, you know of the industry are a bit different but 
um, I still think less is more so if you can try and avoid loads of Photoshop and you know loads of um, heavy retouching because it just never looks good I think the more you do before post-production, the easier your job is going to be afterwards and the less you have to do in Photoshop, the better. Okay, so I'm going to go a tiny bit over the hair. I might just darken it first and then add a bit, uh, a bit of highlights. I might go over the shadows on his face. I might just accentuate the cheekbones a tiny bit. Um, now, as you see, there's a slight color difference between his face and his neck. So I'm going to grab my color layer again. I'm going to select the skin tone on his face, so kind of mid skin tone. And I'm just going to go over it ever so slightly. It's just going to add those slight yellow tones to his skin that he's missing because his neck is a tiny bit more red than it is yellow. And you can see the before and after. Also the brow, have a look how red it is and how quickly it balanced it to a perfect color. So this is a really, really good trick. Okay, so now that I have that, um, I'm going to go and Going to do, I'm going to add a little exposure layer and that's to just add the slightly faded look to your photos so I will just go to maybe plus 84 um, and then just bring the gamma collection correction down now that I have that I might actually create another curve layer and I might go over or I might add a bit more highlights and shadows okay I'm going to another contrast curve now because I did so many contrast curves, um, I find his um, skin could be a bit too reddish, so I'm going to go with hue saturation and I'm just going to desaturate the skin by about maybe 10. So once I desaturate the whole image, I just mask it out and then I grab a white brush and maybe flow, let's say 15 or 20, perfect and then I just go over the area that I want less red so just over his entire face basically it would be helpful if I actually selected the white brush instead of the black don't mind me, it's early in the morning might actually bring it down a tiny bit maybe it's 8 okay, so my final step is going to be just adding some sharpness so I'm going to go into sharpen smart sharpen and with that I'm going to sharpen it quite a bit as you know I do like my images sharp um, I was working on quite a low F in this one I think it was around 2.8 so the image might be maybe not blurry but it's not you know as you see the sharpening does quite a bit and I think also the sharpening kind of exaggerates his skin texture which I find is very nice Okay, so this is it. As you see, this is all I've done. Um, it's very, very um, simple adjustment. As you see, there isn't much difference. I mean, I think the biggest difference is the brow <laughs> that I filled in. But um, in general, I left the skin texture as it is. I think it has a lovely little, um, I don't know how to call it, grit to it or whatever. Um, I love the texture. Um, as I said with men's photos, I always want to leave a good bit of texture because I find it just looks better, um, it just works better, especially on a shoot like that where the team was edgy and dark. I think it wouldn't fit to have this beautiful, you know, silky smooth skin. So um, I added a tiny bit of highlights, a tiny bit of shadows, you know, a good bit of contrast and this is pretty much it but as you see the skin is pretty much untouched um, it's just about you know getting rid of the little imperfections but leaving the lines that make the photo interesting if that makes sense so um, I hope you liked today's video um, and um, I will see you next time <laughs>